Welcome to a lesson on constructing a confidence interval for a population proportion. During an election year, we see reports that state confidence intervals in terms of proportions or percentages. For example, a poll for a particular candidate running for president might show that the candidate has 40% of the vote within three percentage points. Often election polls are calculated with 95% confidence, so the pollsters would be 95% confident that the true proportion of voters who favored the candidate would be between 0.37 and 0.43, or between 37% and 43%, which we obtain by subtracting 0.03 from 0.40 and adding 0.03 to 0.40, where 0.40 is the point estimate for the population proportion and 0.03 is the error bound or margin of error. Other confidence intervals for a population proportion might be the proportion or percent of stocks that go up and down each week, proportions of households in the U.S. that own personal computers, as well as proportion of a population that has contracted a particular virus. The procedure to find the confidence interval, the sample size, the error bound, and the confidence level for a proportion is similar to that for the population mean, but the formulas are different. Let's take a look. P prime is the estimated proportion or point estimate, which is equal to x divided by n, where x is the number of successes and n is the number of trials or sample size. The confidence interval is equal to P prime minus the error bound to P prime plus the error bound, where the error bound for the proportion is equal to the z-score that corresponds to the confidence level times the sample standard deviation for the proportion, which is equal to the square root of P prime times Q prime divided by N, where Q prime is equal to one minus P prime. And just for review, the confidence level is equal to CL, alpha is equal to one minus the confidence level, and alpha divided by two is often used for the subscript on the z-score, which indicates the area to the right of the z-score, which means the area to the left, which we need to find the z-score using technology, is equal to one minus alpha divided by two. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose a market research firm is hired to estimate the percent of adults living in a large city who have cell phones. 500 randomly selected adult residents in this city are surveyed to determine whether they have cell phones. Of the 500 people surveyed, 421 responded yes, they own cell phones. Using 95% confidence level, compute a confidence interval estimate for the true proportion of adult residents of this city who have cell phones. Let's first list the given information. 500 people were surveyed, and therefore n is equal to 500. 421 responded yes, and therefore the number of successes x is equal to 421. The confidence level is 95%, CL is equal to 0 0.95. Let's find the point estimate, or the sample proportion, P prime, which is equal to x divided by n, which in this case is 421 divided by 500, which is equal to 0 0.842. Let's also find Q prime. Q prime is equal to one minus P prime, which is equal to one minus 0 0.842, which is 0 0.158. And now let's find alpha and then alpha divided by two. Alpha is equal to one minus the confidence level which is one minus 0 0.95, which is 0 0.05, which means alpha divided by two is equal to 0 0.05 divided by two, which is equal to 0 0.025. So we often indicate the z-score as z sub 0 0.025, where 0 0.025 is the area to the right of the z-score, which means the area to the left of the z-score is one minus 0 0.025, which is equal to 0 0.975. If we are finding the z-score using technology, we need this area. If we're allowed to use a table, we can simply go to the table and see the z-score for the 95% confidence level is 1.96. Let's also show how to find this using the T84. On the T84, press second vars for the distribution menu, option three for inverse norm. Area, again, is area to the left which is why we needed 0 0.975. We are using the standard normal distribution to find the z-score, and therefore mu is equal to zero, sigma is equal to one, press enter on paste, enter again, and notice how we do get the same z-score of approximately 1.96.
Now we have all the information we need to find the air bound and then the confidence interval. The air bound for the proportion is equal to the z-score of z sub alpha divided by two, which we now know is 1.96, times the sample standard deviation for the proportion, which is equal to the square root of p prime times q prime is 0 0.842 times 0 0.158. This is divided by n, which is 500. And now let's go to the calculator and enter this carefully. Notice how I do a parentheses around the product, which is in the numerator. And then we have divided by 500 still under the square root. Right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.032. Now we can calculate the confidence interval, which is P prime minus the air bound to P prime plus the air bound. P prime minus the air bound is 0 0.842 minus 0 0.032, and P prime plus the air bound is, of course, 0 0.842 plus 0 0.032. which gives us 0 0.810 and 0 0.874. Which means the 95% confidence interval is from 0 0.810 to 0 0.874, which means we estimate with 95% confidence that between 81% and 87.4% of all adult residents of this city have cell phones. We can also state that 95% of the confidence intervals constructed in this way would contain the true value of the population proportion of all adult residents of this city who have cell phones. I hope you found this helpful.